Hi, in this chapter of data analysis and statistics, we'll be talking about the normal distribution. So, there's two aspects that we need to know when we solve the problem. If the mu is changed, the curve shifts left to right, which is the horizontal transformation. But if the lowercase sigma is changed, the curve is stretched vertical and compressed vertically, or vice versa. Compare. And these things are compared to the parent function. Now, the parent function has normal curves and have basic shape. Now, if you were to take an example of a normal size distribution, it would be really easy. Yet, there is something that you need to keep in mind. That is, before you move on to, on to the real solution, there is a picture provided in the following description down below that you need to see before the answers are derived. So here in the PowerPoint presentation, I'll give you the answer based on the picture. If you don't look at the picture, you would be confused because you have no idea how did I get the value. Please look at the picture. Thank you. Okay, so knowing this, that you need to look at the picture, let's move on to the question. The question says, scores on the test are normally distributed with the mean of 75 and standard deviation, which is the lowercase sigma of A. Now, the mean is mu, uh, the value of mu, and standard deviation is lowercase sigma. So there's two steps to solve this uh, problem. That is, there's two parts of it. The first part of the question tells us that estimate the probability that a randomly selected student scored less than 87. The formula that you would use is Z is equal to X minus mu divided by lowercase sigma. That is, when you do it, well, you would get Z would be equal to 1.5. Moving on to the next uh, example, yet there is not the complete answer. Because we got the answer 1.5, you go back to the solution and you will find out the probability of getting that, the area would be 0 0.93. You, since you got part A value, let's move on to part 2. The part 2 says, so we need to find the probability between 71 and 75. You plug in 71 and 75 for a value of x, you get your answer to be, the first one would be 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, so the area, you look at the graph again, and you'll find out the data would say it would be equal to 0 0.31, and the other one would be 0 0.5. Since we are finding the value between them, what we need to do is basically subtract the first value minus the second one, instead of doing the opposite because most people would do the value that they found out in 75 when you plug in 75 then subtract there with 71 well it's the opposite in this case so when you do that you'll find out the area between them would be 0 